see that Robert Malanfe will sit on this platform and tell us grandma that does not have any foundation. How do you explain that? <laughs> oh gosh, I'm bubbling. <laughs> I'm bubbling. He says that they are discussing what is killing people on backstage. Backstage. People are dying on front stage. They are discussing what is killing men on front stage, on backstage. This is a government we are into. The government that discusses front stage matters on backstage. Then the person he's calling that they have been discussing is a person that came to parliament this year. Galajala came to parliament this year. Wait. And the crisis is four years old. But the man who is talking about it came to parliament six months ago. Is to tell you, is to tell you how. <laughs> is, to, is to tell you how. Those are the people who are feeding you. You are here to package their names. You are also a commercial agent of the CPDM party. You've come to sell some products, and those are the names of the products you are selling here. Keep selling. You will sell, and very soon those same products you sell will bite you. Let's keep that one aside. Media is a platform you can sell whatever you want. La Francophonie has a lot of nations. Commonwealth has a lot of nations. And Cameroon and Canada are the only two privileged countries in the world who have this connection on both sides. If the Canadian government is given the privilege to lobby on both sides, they can assemble a huge number of nations that can file a motion that either La Francophonie or the Commonwealth or the United Nations will be left with no choice mm -hmm. than to engage procedures in order to bring this crisis to an end. That is one of the things I think that if the, the question you asked me, mm -hmm. I've been able to answer. Now, to get back to what I want to correct what, what Keda was saying. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Kedia said uh, uh, they should tell these boys in the bushes no, to, to, to drop their arms that uh, we are not telling them because we are collaborators. Nobody ever woke up one day to pick arms. It takes an action to provoke a reaction. The arms is a product of an action. Let the action stop. The reaction should stop. Nobody is a dunce or an idiot or a nincompoop in this nation. That you will come on TV platform and try to make us feel as if we are inferior. We, have, we were matured. We were not babies that this thing will be told us like stories. We were matured when the crisis started. I was already a matured man as a father. So I will not be told how the crisis started. It takes a, an action to a reaction. If you want to stop a reaction, stop the action. So when we stand on the platform and we are trying to preach that they should come on the table to dialogue, it's not because somebody does not have grievances. You cannot be pouring fuel to an already ignited flame by insulting and humiliating people who have lost loved ones, displaced families, lost education, lost finances, lost lives of their family members, and they are reacting out of anger and bitterness. There are many persons who were quiet at their own end until the military came and killed their innocent members. They were forced to pick arms. Do you think that everybody that is in the bush deliberately wanted to carry arms? It was because they were tossed at a position they could not take it any longer. So while we are talking, we should be pacifying our statement on platforms in order to make them see reasons. You convince a wounded man to see reason with you. You don't impose. That's diplomacy. When we come on platform and try to intimidate people already wounded, you're only igniting more flame. You're pouring more fuel to already ignited flame. So I think when we come on platform, we'll tell those guys in the bushes that, please, we understand your grievances, we understand your pain, but the measure you are using to stop the problem is not the right measure. Don't tell that they are criminals. Don't tell that they are this. There are many people in that bush who are doing an act of revenge. And if there is no action, there will be no revenge. So I think the media is a place where if we want to properly use the media, we should use it as a place to try to coordinate people's mindset and even try to plead with people to see reasons with what we are talking about. We don't come on platform like this and try to inject more fire to the heart of poor already wounded. It should be corrected. Okay. Um, yes. The, 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 the release uh, further states that as such, uh, the subcommittee shares the view that the government of Canada should 
rally allies through multilateral organizations to call for an immediate ceasefire and an end to hostilities. Can they do that? Yes, it can be done and done well. Now, when it comes to international politics and international diplomacy, mm -hmm. it's something which the regime barons have not understood. I'm surprised most of them have gone through Iraq, but Iraq has not gone through them. That's why you see my brother ranting here. Now, you get to a point whereby people think that Cameroon is so powerful that no nation can, make, can put Cameroon to order. Those are errors. Libya once thought of like that. But little did Gaddafi know that when the wars come to the wars, there are some measures that will not be respected when some countries want to call the show that enough is enough. In the same scenario with Cameroon here. Now, if you look at like what you are asking here, what, what they have just mentioned there is what it can be done. If they could decide to get to other countries, they could decide to put up. And what are the measures? Now, look at what is coming to the Yaoundé regime, which they don't know. Because you think that you can use arrogance and maintain a war for a longer period of time. Now, when you use that arrogance, what will they do? The measures are simple. What we are getting here is the diplomatic phase. What you see, the House of Commons putting in place and getting to other phases, what we call the diplomatic phase. There's another phase that comes in which will not be diplomatic any longer. That has to do with sanctions. When you start hearing that government officials who have accounts abroad or they have been banned from traveling to Canada, banned from traveling to this particular nation, this nation, that's how it comes gradually. Before you know, you start hearing that their accounts have been frozen. Before you know, you start hearing that there is a multi joint tax force that is moving into the conflict area. That's when you start knowing that the grammar we are blowing here, you get to a period where we'll discover that we don't have what we call monopoly of violence to do it to the extent that we think we can do it because we call ourselves sovereign state. Look at the situation. When we talk about sovereign state, I have even the impression that some of these CPDN guys don't even understand what is meant by sovereign state. Because if you sit and somebody makes a declaration in France and he tells someone that I am the one who ordered a release of person A or B in the country, which actually happened, it's a blow on the sovereignty of the so-called Cameroon. That a president made it publicly that is who caused somebody to be released just at the request and the person was released. It tells you that the sovereignty were blowing grammar here. We don't even have it because if we're talking about economic stability, you're talking about a level of education which is independent and all the like, we'll be talking about that kind of a, a, a degree of sovereignty. But where we are, imagine that even to pick, to pick that my man is blowing grammar here, we cannot produce. And you're talking about they should go and solve their own problems. Look at an issue. Look, see the arrogance. Cameroon wants to teach countries established, have established in democracy how to carry out with democracy. <laughs> when democracy is a borrowed, a, a borrowed system of government, not even part of Cameroon as per se, it's a borrowed system we are borrowing. And then somebody sits on a platform and he tells you that they should even come and study democracy from us. Do you see which government body like? When God wants to be angry, when the God wants to be angry with you, they just take wisdom away from you. You start talking like uncontrollable with a bird. Before you know it, you are already for, you are you are already in the net. So this is the issue we find here. So what Canada is doing is very clear. The, that that message, I will plead you are the regime, pick the press release from the House of Commons serious, because your days are numbered if you don't take it very very serious. Because as I said, crimes against humanity have already been established. It's a war. It's on both sides. It's already been established. And whether we like it or not, if you start seeing a country leaving countries from borrowing money for a stadium and then going number to banks, know that the center is gradually losing its gravitational force. I don't know if my brother here is understanding the rhythms. But then, as arrogant as the system is, they will blow grammar until they only find themselves into the grave. They start saying, had I known. Now, when the time comes from the letter we're finding here, Already, lobbies are going on. If you see a French parliamentarian talks, you see the House of Commons in Britain talks. Now, this one, a House of Commons in Canada is talking. When the Congress had, see the Congress House in America has spoken. These are powerful houses.